Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip we're going to talk about modeling of quadratic functions. So let's see what this is about. Uh, for example, you can have three given points of a quadratic, like in number 15 and 16, and you need to be able to write the equation in standard form. So that is what I meant by modeling of a quadratic. You have uh, some information about that quadratic and you should be able to graph it. Uh, in number 15, if you take a look, we have uh, one point, one and negative two, the second one, two and negative two, and the third one, three and four, which you can see him, can see them right here on the right side. Uh, the question is, can we find the quadratic that is going to go through these three points? Okay, so now let's take a look how this works. Uh, remember that, uh, for example, 1 and negative 2, the first one is x, the second one is y. So basically, in this uh, quadratic form, in the standard form of a quadratic equation, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we're going to replace x and y. So, uh, as you notice, the first one is y, so I'm going to write negative 2 equals a times x squared, right? x is nothing else than 1 for the first point, right? Plus b times 1 plus c. So, this first equation is nothing else than the first point. Uh, 1 and negative 2. Eh, we're going to write two more equations similar to the first one for point B and C. Let's call them like that. And what do we have here? Negative 2 equals A times 2 square root plus B times 2 plus C. So again, if you notice in this second equation, we replace Y with negative 2 and X with positive 2. And the third equation and the last one. We're going to use point 3 and 4, so obviously we're going to start with 4 equal, right? That is how much y is. a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. And yes, we do have a system of equation of 3 variable uh, that we need to solve. And the first equation you see is simplified very nice. a plus b plus c equals negative 2. The second one becomes 4a plus 2b plus c equals negative 2. And the third one, 9a plus 3b plus c equals and it's very important to notice some things here when, because we need to solve and find a, b, c. We have uh, c's on the last thing. So one of the easy ways to solve this uh, system of equation is by subtracting. What do I mean? Look at here. Let me call this 1, 2, 3. Equation 1, 2, and 3. Look at here. If I subtract 1 and 2, 1 minus 2. Or you can do 2 minus 1 if you want. You get negative 3a minus b equal 0, right? Uh, also, we can do 1 minus 3 or 3 minus 1. And again, c is going to disappear. And you see, we reduce that system of three equations with three variables by subtracting. We reduce it to a system of two equations of two variables where we're going to use multiplication to solve. So we, I'm going to multiply the first equation by negative 2. And the second equation we multiply by 1. Okay. And now you see the B cancel out. So 
So we finish with A. A is nothing else than 3. And now we can find uh, B very fast. I grab uh, the first equation, negative 3A minus B equals 0, right? By replacing A of 3, we end up with negative 9 minus B equals 0, or B equals negative 9. And the last thing we're going to do is to find uh, C. And I'm going to take the first one, A plus B plus C. The first equation we start with equals negative 2. And we replace A with 3, B with 9. And of course, we can, uh, we can find C now. C equals 4. And finally, I'm going to put here the equation y equal, okay, ax squared, yes, 3x squared, My, plus bx, minus 9x, plus c, plus 4. This is the equation that will go through those three given points, a, b, and c. You can put it on a graphing calculator or in any other computer system. And there you go. You see, it? that is the equation that goes through these three points. Uh, go ahead and try number 16. Pause the video clip. On number 16, uh, again, three points are given, A, B, and C. We need to find the equation that goes through these three points. You can see the picture on the left side.
If you end up with the equation y equals x squared minus 5x plus 2, then you did a wonderful job. You notice uh, the process I go, I went through. If you like this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back more for more clips on C squared.